Hello Lane and I hope Hello Lane and I hope all is well with you today. Today I'm going to talk about subdomains, why we use them, uh, and how this can help you in your World RD uh, venture uh, business. So basically, this is a Primus Web Web Basics. What is a subdomain and why we use it? So basically, what is a domain? A domain is an identification string that defines a realm of administrative autonomy, authority, or control on the internet. Basically, it is an address to where folders are on a server. That's basically what that means. Okay, So a subdomain is basically, it's still a domain, but is the child to the parent domain, the parent address. So we'll give you an example of some enterprise, uh, the enterprise use of this and the trickle-down effect this has had. So you look at Google, and Google has their main, their primary product is search. Okay? But Google said, okay, well, we still want our mail application on as a child of the primary, uh, excuse me one second, <laughs> uh, as a child of the primary uh, uh, domain here. So what they did was they created mail.google.com, which we know today as Gmail, right? <laughs> so it's 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 a sub extension, subdomain of the primary domain, and with this they can create their entire um, mail application without having to put something like google.com forward slash mail. That would work, but it would be redirected to the mail.google.com. The primary advantage of having a uh, domain name, a subdomain name, is a way to organize information. So in your instance, you have your world RD page. So you're saying, okay, well, instead of creating a domain let's say you run out of domain name ideas you know for love let's say love world rd.com you know and it might not be available you see what you can do instead and having to uh, there's nothing worse than not having you know the domain name you want you can just create the sub extension subdomain obviously it's not live right now but you can create one in your server panel so we'll take a look at one that I did so this right here Prime news primus news is just like a uh, educational test sample website that I put up for my tutorials so you have something like this primus news right right here so I wanted to create something like test or sports primenews.com. So I did. So what I did and how I did that was if you go here, obviously I know you're not familiar with this cPanel software, but you can install WordPress on a subdomain, any subdomain you want. So I install after I created the subdomain sports.primusnews.primenews.com, which is right here, at that point you can install any content management system on here, any software on here. Okay, so it could be Magento, Sugar CRM, which is really popular. It can be any of these things. So you get my point, but I I installed WordPress on here myself. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. Let's go sports, just so I can illustrate my point. Sorry. Thank you for calling Primus Web.
it. So obviously we have to delete, but you get my point. It's not going to let me install this uh, software because <laughs> um, I obviously have WordPress installed on it. So I was just trying to be cute, but it's not going to work. Anyways, so let's go here. So you have WordPress on here, right? And with WordPress, obviously, you can put in a theme. You can do whatever you want, basically. You know, you can turn this into what, or you can do something like billing, let's say billing install billing software on your, uh, a content management system but this is a way you keep information separate from where you have it right now instead of getting like an actual domain for this so that's basically it thank you very much and uh, you have a good day.